Hello everyone, you are welcome back to Bioscience class. Today is another lecture and we are going to talk about a topic in enzyme kinetics and it is termed how to derive the hens wolfs plot from the michael Smentin equation. So in enzyme kinetics, we have three types of plots basically. The first one is the line Weaverbeck's plot. The second one is the Edihovsky's plot. And the third one is the Haynes Wolf's plot. So today we are going to talk about how to derive the Haynes Wolf's plot from the Michael Smentin equation. If this is your first time watching this channel, make sure to subscribe, like, and share this video for us. And if not watch the two types of plots that we talked about earlier, that's the Line Riverbeck plot and the Edie Hofstie's plots, kindly check the description below to get the link for those two videos all right so after that you can come back and follow this hens wolf's plot all right so today we are going to talk about how to derive the hens wolf's plot from the michael Smentin equation so without wasting much time let's go through the steps to derive the hens wolf's plot okay so basically the first step in deriving all the three types of plots is to state the Michael Smentin equation. So the Michael Smentin equation is given by V. This is the velocity equal V max. That is the maximum velocity times substrate concentration S divided by Km. That's the Michaelis constant plus substrate concentration S. So before you can state, you can derive the hens wolfs plot and all the other two types of plots. The first thing to do is to write down the Michael Smentin equation. All right. So after that, you can follow the other steps to proceed in deriving your steps. So the second step in deriving the Haynes Wolf's plot from Michael Smentin equation is to take the inverse of both sides of the equation. So the Michael Smentin equation, you have to take inverse of both sides of the equation. So we have 1 over V here. Initially, it was velocity, only V. So when we take inverse of it, it becomes 1 over V, which is equal to V max times substrate concentration S divided by Km plus substrate concentration S. And this whole equation divided by what? 1. So in simplifying it, it's going to give us 1 over V equal Km plus substrate concentration divided by v max that's the maximum velocity times substrate concentration so if you have a over b and you divide it by one the a that's the numerator is going to occupy the position of the denominator and the b that's the denominator also going to occupy the position of the numerator so same is happening over here there is interchange of the position between the km which was initially denominator and the Vmax, which was initially numerator. So this is how it's going to be. So in simplifying it further, we are going to get one over V equal Km over Vmax times substrate concentration S. And remember we have a plus sign here, so we are going to separate them into two. So the other one is going to be substrate concentration divided by maximum velocity times substrate concentration S. But in mathematics we have a substrate concentration here and a substrate concentration here so they can cancel each other to give us one over v max so that's what's over here so this is the full simplification of the inverse of the equation all right so it's going to give us one over v equals km over v max times one over the substrate concentration plus one over v max so after you've gotten this full simplification of the Michael Smentin equation. This is the line Weaverbeck plot. So this is how the line Weaverbeck plot looks like. All right. So in the line Weaverbeck plot, we have the Y component to be one over V, the X component to be one over S, the gradient to be Km over V max, and the intercept to be one over V max. But we are not looking for the line Weaverbeck plot. We are looking for Hence, Wolf's plot. So, what we have to do next is to 
multiply both sides of the equation by substrate concentration that's s so we multiply one over v by substrate concentration s equals km over v max times one over the substrate concentration and we multiply it again by substrate concentration s plus one over v max and that one to we multiply it by substrate concentration s all right so the next step is simplification of the equation so we have substrate concentration here substrate concentration here so as usual it's going to cancel each other okay so we are going to get substrate concentration over v equals km divided by v max plus one over maximum velocity times substrate concentration s so we are going to rearrange this equation in the form of y equals mx plus c that's the equation of a line so we are going to compare this equation to the equation of a line and we are going to rearrange it in order as the equation of a line so that we can compare it to the component that's the x component y component so that we can deduce all our values so in rearranging we have substrate concentration s over the velocity equals one over the maximum velocity times substrate concentration plus km over v max so by comparing it to the equation of a line we can see that the x component that's the y component is substrate concentration divided by v and the m over here our gradient is also one over v max and the x component is substrate concentration s and the intercept c is km over v max so this is basically how the components are going to look like okay so make comparison to deduce the y x component and the intercept so by comparing it to the equation of a line it can be seen that the y component was substrate concentration divided by maximum no the normal velocity and the s component is the substrate concentration and the gradient was one over v max that's the maximum velocity and the intercept c is equal to km over v max so when this is plotted on a linear graph we can see we have a gradient over here we have our y component over here and we have our x component over here that's substrate concentration and we have the substrate concentration divided by velocity as our y component so in plotting this on a linear graph you are going to get a straight line with a positive slope and the slope is one over v max so as you can see here m is equal to one over v max so when you want to find v max just find the inverse of the slope to get v max and any point on the y component the y axis is our intercept and it is c it is km over v max so as you can see here we have intercept here and it is km over v max and the intercept on the x axis is negative km so this is the negative x axis this is the x axis so the intercept here is negative km so when you want to find km without going to calculate the slope and inserting it to calculate the km you can just find the intercept on the negative x axis you multiply it by negative and you get positive km so that's basically how you can deduce the hence wolf's plot from the michael smithing equation so as i said earlier if you don't know how to derive the line river backs plot the edhoff's plot you can check um the channel or you can search for the link in the description to follow so that you can derive all those types of equation if this is your first time watching this channel kindly subscribe to this button like and if you don't understand make any comments so that we can help you to go through all right thank you very much have a nice day